we have a problem. Ever since I moved, the garage is just completely chock full of boats in random places. In fact, it sort of uh, exploded. The good news is I finally got around to breaking down my boat rack from my last place. And I'm gonna show you how I do it since when I built this in the fall, I could not find a good plan that I actually liked that was reasonable, somewhat portable, and had the kind of capacity that the hardcore need, let's be honest. I don't need a rack for four boats. Here we go, I'm gonna be reassembling something I already built. We're just gonna snap through it real fast. It's the simplest, most effective way I think you can build a high capacity rack that's gonna actually last. Of course, I built myself from scratch a beautiful new van right before we moved. And all I have done ever since is not finish the small stuff and move things that can break my new joy. Speaking of which, I started the new channel just for the van so you guys don't have to wade through it. I'll put a link down there or somewhere in here uh, where if you wanna follow it, subscribe. It's a brand new dead channel, it'd be awesome. Thank you. So let's talk about the basics before we get started. The tools you're gonna need are a impact level square, bit set, circular saw, and a and a somewhat decent socket set. Doesn't have to be that big. Crossbars are two by tens cut in half, so they are five feet. And then these are what are gonna make up the uprights. So you've got two four by four poles that started as 10 feet, and then I cut them to nine feet. My ground pieces are two eight foot two by fours, pressure treated, that are uh, tagged on the ends with the cutoffs from the 4x4. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is get these all together. Step two, after you have built this basic assembly is going to be inserting the 4x4 inside and then screw it to it with four screws. Obviously, make sure you're square before you do that. With your base screwed in, you're gonna grab a four foot long 2x4. You're going to cut it at a 45 degree angle to bring yourself to 24 inch two by fours with a 45 degree as so. These are gonna be your supports. So screw it on one side, flip, screw it again, make the other tower. At this point, your trees are together. Get yourself laid out where you actually want your rack. Now we're gonna get ready to stand them up and get them rough pinned together just for distance. Two crossbars on, marked them square and screwed them together. Now we're gonna pull the whole thing together and get the other squared up as well. Now we're upright, but we're not true. So we are going to bring in the posts with the level and then put a cross brace in to keep it true. Now that we're all on an upright, you can see the white spots where the boards were before. So this gap from the top of one cross to the bottom of the next one, so the full gap that the boat can fit in is 16 inches. That was just what I measured around. Mostly this rack is play boats and half slices. So that just squeaks it. 17 would be a decent all around. 18, if you had all large creakers, would take care of you. But, you know, check your own stuff. Your mileage may vary. There we go. There's the whole thing done. Each connection for a crossbar is four screws and a lag bolt. Uh, a washer would be a really good idea. I just Never got around to it. And quick note, you are going to use this bubble to get your horizontals and this bubble to get your verticals, right? So that way, even though the ground is inevitably gonna be wonky, there is some semblance of square in there somewhere. So there's the rack. Total capacity on this is at least 12, and often I'll have two more tucked on the sides, so 14. Super efficient. I can just hear the pitter patter of comments. Whoa, 12 boats not locked up. No, I, I have a, a eye bolt down there, an eye bolt down there, and they all come together to a lock in the center. I made my own cables from basic parts. Basically, you buy the cable and then loop it through one of these and put it in a vise, smash it with a hammer. I'll put links for everything that you need down in the comments. And uh, those Amazon links gave me a couple bucks, so. Thanks in advance.